Okay, that looks pretty nice. That can go here. Yep, looks a little grayer, not quite so light. And I'm onto my fourth row, which is that very dull orange. I rinsed my brush and dried it. Mix that dull orange into my white. I'll actually get a pretty color, even though I don't think that's quite so pretty. This is sort of a nice peach color. First box. And then one more time. I'm going to rinse this time. Okay, so a little bit more of this. Just on the edge of it. Until I think I have enough to cover that square. There you go. And I'm ready for my last one. Rinse. A little bit of orange into the white. It'll look similar to row four, but it should look a little cleaner, a little brighter. Now, you may want to think about changing your water at some point, too. If you have a lot of paint in your water, your water will actually become paint, and it will start coloring your colors, so you're not going to be in control of the colors you're getting. You can tell that light one looks a little bit different from row four. Okay, and this is the last time we're going to be using the white on this page, this painting. And there we go. Okay, now we're going to work only on this side. We're going to be adding black to our color supply. So here's black. We're going to actually put the black into there. It's always easier to mix. You're going to have more control if you put the darker colors into the lighter ones. So I'm going to take a little bit of black and put it just here on the edge of my blue. I'm going to pull out a pretty good amount. And hopefully you'll see it change. If you don't notice much change, you can put a little drop more, but be careful. Don't get it too dark all at once. That looks like it changed. I'm rolling my brush still. I'm working it all through the supply. This is going to go here this time. So we're in the fourth column. The handout says four here. Okay, so we're in the fourth column. A nice dark blue. It'll look pretty similar to this one here. And then I'm going to do that one more time. So I'm taking some more black, putting it in that blue, just on the edge of that pile. And that should be a very dark shade. If you were calling that black, you would call it a cool black because it has a lot of blue in it, so it makes a cool black, or it's just an extremely dark black. Rinse my brush, and I'm going on to my row two paints here. I'm going to take some black, put it into this color I made here. I'm being careful to stay out of that, and I'm being careful to stay out of that white. So I'm right here on the edge, trying not to mix into the blue above it a little more, I think. Okay, let's give that a test, roll, blend, and let's test that. Yeah, that looks darker. And it's definitely different from the one above it. It's a little bit less bright. Okay, one more time with that. So some more black right in the middle of all that. A little bit more maybe. Mix, mix, roll. Let's see how we did. You know what, I think it is darker. It's very similar. If you're not happy with it, you can put a little more black in it, but I think that's actually going to be okay. And I did leave this kind of thin. Remember that I want you to have your paints nice and thick. Keep the water out of your brush. Keep drying your brush. So I just washed my brush and dried it. A little black into this third row. And I think it needs a drop more. There we go. Mix, roll. There's that. Remember, keep it thick. I would probably add some more paint to that, make it thicker, you know, go back and put another layer on. And then some more black. See if you can get it going pretty dark here. That's going to go here. That's my brush. For row four, little black. That was a lot. I'm going to wipe some off. So anytime you need to wipe it off, just dab it a little bit. Going here. Getting a really icky color now. Put that there. Yep. Looks different from that one. Doesn't look the same as that, so we're doing good. One more time with the black. Mix that all in. That was quite a bit, so I'm trying to pull all this paint in. There we go. Okay, keep your paint thick. Remember I want yours thick and nice. 
not thin and watery, not messy. Keep your paint thick and stay in the lines. A little black in my orange. It's going to be pretty similar to that color we made when we had the orange and we added blue to it, but it should look just slightly different. I didn't blend it very well. You can see some black streaks in there. So I'm going to roll my brush a little and blend. Okay, last square. A little black. Mixing it. Get it blended. This time I'm going to do a better job mixing it all in. And there we go. Okay, so that's what it looks like. I'm going to show you a finished one that looks really pretty. This is one I did a little more carefully. You can see I filled the colors in better. I stayed in the lines nicely. And the next thing that we can do is we'll take some black strips, some construction paper that we've cut thin, and we'll glue it across all the lines so that we make a grid both directions. And then we can mat it on some other construction paper and it'll look really pretty when it's all cleaned up and finished. Don't forget to put your name on your paper and it goes in the drying rack. Hope you have fun!